sweet. Okay. All right. Let me uh, let me change the tags here. We got who we got in the left here? Yeah. John Cena and Maloney. Sounds good. What's that? Yeah. It's oh, good. sorry. We got you. John Cena. Actually, I like commentating John Cena's matches. Dude, yeah, me too. He got me, dude. Oh, he got you with a ding dong. Well, I went, I went like game one, so. He knew, he knew, he knew it was close. He, he was scared, dude. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Did he go to game three? Or? Yeah, yeah. It was good. It was a good set. I, I shouldn't have gone like game one. That's my mistake. But what? <laughs> well, I did because seven six six got him at the last oh, game. Oh, I see. So I, I thought see. maybe he might have an Ike problem and get do that before he downloads my box. Oh, yeah. Last time I played him with box, he destroyed me. So. But. I see. Dude, we got John Cena. We got we got, we West got West 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 <laughs> We got top players. Okay, so call the Clash Four rest in pieces. Yeah. Looks like John Cena is going with the initial tag. So I'm assuming that we're probably gonna see DK from John Cena. DK versus Sheik. Yeah, and there's there's a, it's gonna be? there's a big reason why we're gonna see John Cena, or John Cena play DK. Uh, Maloney does not like heavies. I don't think anyone that plays Sheik likes heavies. Really? Uh, yeah. Dude, I, yeah. I've been working on Ryu for the Sheik matchup. Cause I mean, Sheik bodies Mega Man, you know? Like, even his safe options are kind yeah. of safe against her. Because she, she can just, like, bouncy fish over her wings. I guess I've seen it both ways. I haven't really paid attention too much about that matchup. But you know better than I would because you play it all weird, the time. It's a weird matchup. Yeah. It's definitely not in Mega Man's favor. But, I mean, it yeah. could be done. I saw Minty Fresh bodied, uh, uh, I want to say it was DK Lil's Sheik. Yeah. Um, uh, game one and then game two and three like completely changed. It, it was weird. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. I mean, so, no, maybe it's on Explorer, but I'm assuming we're probably gonna see we're probably gonna see DK in both games. Uh, yeah. The thing I is, like, DK is one of those characters you have to give him space. Let him whiff, it, like, whiff a move. Like his his cooldown is pretty, pretty yeah. like pretty big. And uh, yeah, that's a big thing is like learning when to punish yeah. characters in a matchup. The scary thing is that Sheik's gonna want to be in the air. She likes it. I mean, obviously her best move is fair. Yeah. She wanna, she wanna keep on chaining fairs, uh, but the issue with that is that here you have a character that wants you in the air. You have a character that can just up tilt you and get oh, up there. Yeah. And, and and DK at 60%, I think it is, can get that uh, cargo carry up throw, you know, ding dong. Yeah. And I believe, I believe that's a confirmed like, KO option on Sheik at that percent. I think so, yeah. So. If he gets above that percent, he's safer, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's just kind of what I was kind of saw in that. Yeah. In that matchup, so. Okay, yeah, so. Be interesting to see. It's like we're going into game one and we are going to Battlefield. Yeah, Alright. <laughs> that's interesting. I feel like DK's stronger on this stage. Yeah, DK definitely likes this stage. Um, you want to catch, catch people's landings on the platforms, so. Yeah. Alright, so right away we have Maloney playing very safe. He knows he doesn't want he does not want to get yeah, grabbed. He doesn't want to get that ding dong. Already a very safe cheek though. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of fairs. Sure not fair. Yeah, yeah. have it, man. You just you don't wanna give DK any like you don't wanna give him any room to breathe when he, when he moves in. Yeah, I mean, obviously you can space with needles, but you're not gonna wanna give him any room to breathe. DK yeah. doesn't have a lot of cooldown. In fact the his biggest weakness is landing. If he punishes landings, punishes glitch get ups. It's, that's a good point. Yeah, you also gotta not let him charge his uh, punch all the way, kind of like Samus, because oh, yeah, you know, he could be reverse to. that. It's like super safe. Uh, that's, that's actually wild. pretty safe to land with. John Cena recovering with the uppy. Yeah. Oh, and here, yeah. there it is. Oh, oh no. That was, uh, yeah, that was a weird looking ding dong. Kind of figured that's what we were gonna see, but yeah, see, DK's, DK's gonna love these platforms for the up tilts. Um, yeah. That is very hard to avoid for DK though. If you throw that out at the right time, that's that, that's bouncing, bouncing fish is gonna be a DK color on this yeah. stage. Yeah. 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 I guess she can move, move around these platforms pretty easily. Wow. So Maloney just building up some jab damage. It's probably a smart idea. Just get some extra credit at this point. I mean, yeah, I mean, because you think about it, ten more percent and she could be dead. So yeah. he's got to play safe this entire time. Yeah. Uh, uh, probably his best option, honestly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, John Cena uses that down B to punish rolls a lot, and he gets he gets a lot of people. Over. I wonder if we'll see any shield breaks. Dude, that's what he does, man. Yeah. About that down B though, the cooldown is really risky. It's definitely one of those things that uh, you have to be careful about. Yeah. So Maloney doing a great job of not letting John Cena get any grabs. Yeah, really, really using the stage, honestly. We haven't seen any true ding dongs here, which is really surprising. Yeah, I know. That's exactly what I was thinking. I don't know if they changed anything with the patch. Is it is it better DI now, or is it something that you still have to look out for? I have no idea. 
I wish I played more DK, you know, maybe I know that. I used to for fun before he got good. Oh, I still play for fun, man. He's a fun character. Yeah. Alright, so John C getting him off stage and Maloney oh, side the side B. Is it true? I heard that if you bouncing fish while you're in the air once, the next time you bouncing fish, um, there's a thing though. <laughs> it'll uh, throw out side B instead. Like you can't bouncing fish twice. Um if you've still been in the air. So bouncing true? fish will hit three times, I believe. Uh, it'll hit once forward and then backwards and forward again. So you can keep pressing me to do that. I however I do not know how that works. Oh wow, and John Cena keeping oh, oh, wow. his that was slick. Oh John ding Cena. dong. Oh, Oh man, man. It's just he got the ding, no dong. It's just high enough percent. Wow, just this match just turned around. Yeah, Abner, props to Abner, Abner just bringing this yeah. game back on. Really can't count DK out. Abner took his hat off. Oh, oh and there's the forward smash. Forward smash. It got really intense. He brought it back, though, Dude, honestly. And that's the scary thing That's the scary thing about, about the matchup. Yeah. Sheik is a character that needs to work pretty hard to get these KOs. You make one good read of the DK. Yeah. Yeah. Forward smash KO, Sheik at like 70 would reach. Holding on to that first stock for like as long as possible. Yeah. Super important, but John Cena got taken to church. Is he a believer in Sheik? Dude, I don't know, man. John John Cena just he was he was showing he was showing Maloney the way to church actually yeah. a little he was bit there towards the end. So, uh, the path. You're showing him the light, but um, it's kind of like that kind of like that uh, scene in Blues Brothers, you know, where like they walk into the church, get hit with the blue light, start dancing. Yeah, I feel like that light hit John Cena there on that second stock. Yeah, he was just going at it, you know. He already too hard and then got yeah uh, double hit with a forward smash for it. A kick, kick. So John Cena has left the building. Yeah, John Cena looks like he's checking out, man. He's really thinking hard. He might, he might see a character switch. I mean, he's got a link. Got a yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I prefer. I used to main link, and I prefer the link Sheik matchup to Mega Man. Yeah. Sheik, because yeah, I mean, like his tilts can kind of, kind of tricky. Like we're just coming with fares from the air. Up till four till. Oh, we see Yoshi actually. He almost pulled. He, he was telling me he was gonna pull out Yoshi when we pulled him play our set. Everybody in in, in um, West Michigan has a Yoshi. I feel like it. Yeah. Uh, Yo the, yeah so Yoshi and a villager, man. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they have custom. And not anymore. <laughs> and not anymore. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? We're two East Michigan players on the West Michigan stream, right? Or not even stream. I think it's recording. But honestly, if John Cena can pull this off, it's pretty impressive that he can be pretty solid with this many characters. Hey man, he plays a lot of them, and he's done well with, them, with a lot of characters. Was he a brawl? I don't know. I don't know much of his history. Yeah, he kind of came came out of nowhere really quick, and then just kept getting better and better. He's really just got solid fundamentals, so he can play a lot of different characters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh wow! And the, <laughs> the super armor on Yoshi's second jump there. I want to say I remember talking to Ray about this matchup, and he says it's in Yoshi's favor. Yeah. I mean, especially now after the patch, like uh, Yoshi's super hard to deal with. I have to kind of rethink the match. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's true. That's actually really good. Point. Just like Peach, uh, the Peach matchup. Because her dare now. Yoshi's one of those characters that doesn't get used a whole lot, but really should. But yeah, it's surprising that we haven't seen him win any big tournaments, because I think we all know the potential of this character. Regal has shown the potential of this character. Oh, yeah, dude. He that took, dude is uh, crazy. Two, two games off Ray Plaza. He, he, I mean, he, he was showing that he could destroy uh, ECM's Pikachu at uh, yeah, SFW9. It was, it was good. I mean, he, he, he can't play the Ditto. Yeah. But John Cena showing us why he's playing Yoshi here. Got the first stock. Up there being better than pre-patch Diddy. Nobody complains about it, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it's Yoshi. You're right. No Only complaints. up there. What, what a scary thing, man. It's almost like it's almost like dealing with, with Rose, though. Like, those up airs have gone so quick. And his air mobility is crazy. It's like, it's like eating, you know, eating some steak and then you hit a piece of cartilage. Yeah. yeah. That cartilage is, is, is when you expect in there, but you get the you get the up air. It's like it's not what I ordered, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I mean Yoshi has way better kill power, I feel. He's gonna get he's gonna get bounced a lot more though. Maloney getting that stock actually you know, it, it's 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 one of these matchups as long as Maloney can keep him out keep oh wow, Ooh, wow. Spike almost taking Nair to Nair. Spike almost cool. taking that stock. Yeah. This is looking like a pretty smart character switch for Admin. Yeah. Fair is like, it's gotta be one of the best dunks in the game. Yoshi's fair. It's great, man. That nose is huge. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of cooldown. You just see Yoshi come with his big ass head off stage. It's the scariest thing. Dude, what characters does this guy not play? Seriously. Oh, man. I don't know. Character's not released yet. That's about it. So if Maloney can just keep running these fair strings, if he can just keep, keep Yoshi basically on the defensive, oh, that's kind of where you're going. Oh. An offensive Yoshi's scary, and we know that from Curse the Yoshi, man. Curse don't the Yoshi, sleep man. on Curse the most don't, Yoshi. Yeah, man. you shouldn't, yeah. Don't sleep on anybody, especially Chris the Yoshi, man. And John Cena right. taking that game. John Cena takes game two with the Yoshi, Yoshi switch. And that looks like it was a good character switch on his part. Yeah. Yeah, killed him with off air. 
He's crazy. He's Yoshi. And There's we are going colors. to uh, we are going to adjust the score here because uh, I'm pretty bad. I haven't done that yet. There That's we okay. go. It's one <laughs> one here. West Michigan. We we got top players. Dude, we got we got our we got our we got ducks. We got Fatty Bob about to play our. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Last time uh, I went two one. Game one, I bodied him. Game two and three, he bodied me. Like, yeah, dude, I played him in pools. Like, it's kind of a weird play style. I've never really like. He, I mean, yeah, and he plays it smart. It is hard to get in, and I, if you're not good at punishing roles, you, you're gonna have a hard time against them. Especially against the most punishable role in the game. That's yeah. Just, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like you really just have to be patient in it. A lot of people will sit back with and let Samus do her thing, do her setups, do her charge shots. You really just have to keep pressuring that. Watch, yeah. uh, run in, watch, watch for the roll, or watch for the grab, with you know, and take, take, take advantage of it. Yeah, um, I am worried about this set, but you know what? Whatever. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. Well, that's not a big deal. Hey man, yeah. I kind of checked out. Just you have fun. Yeah, I kind of am at this point too. Just kind of you to have fun. Yeah. That's the John, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. that was a good John. A good John. John yeah. Cena. Oh yeah, we got John Cena. We got top players. Now we got Maloney taking a second to think about this. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Maloney play any other characters. Will he switch? Well, he's got like, but if he goes like, I mean, he he's he's got character priority um, from losing that losing that game. Uh, but Ike is just not a good decision against DK Zabner. I know that firsthand. In fact, uh, Maloney himself was even like, no, don't go Ike against Zabner. I did anyways because I the seven six six took him out. Yeah, we both knew that that's how it was over if I had to stay Fox. And because of that, it's like I don't think we're gonna see. I don't think we're gonna see Ike come out of this at, 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 because of this. Like Abner has Ike's number. Yeah. Like literally has likes no more. Yeah. <laughs> like he'll body likes. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. And a lot of people are having trouble where to place like on the tier list. You know? Yeah. He's kind of like low, high tier, high mid tier. I mean, he's just so scary. His reach. He doesn't have great frame data, but he's got really great tools. And like, I feel like he's got really good setups to get hard reads or like bait somebody to air dodge. He's so scared of the sword. Yeah. And then he just gets you with a forward smash and so. I think we might see the Yoshi again. That was a good character switch on Abner. I wonder what color thing. Yoshi we're going to see. The thing is, D Abner's DK is smart. Um, yeah. First time I ever played him, I don't. It was a, it was an absolute destruction. Like he just knew where to exploit Fox every every chance. It was. Yeah, I mean he plays Bear Scalls all the time. Bears right. He's just a smart player in general, man. Yeah, he's a really, um, really in fact, good player. I think he's probably pretty happy that Maloney stayed on the stage, uh, especially with not switching the characters. Yeah. Um, Let's see uh, what Maloney changes about his gameplay. Thinking for a while. I mean, Maloney still has a Diddy. That, was, that, that, that's, that could have been a character switch as well. But oh, actually, you know what's funny is I think I hear like the only matchup that Yoshi really loses is the Diddy matchup. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what people say. Well, I've watched. Um, <laughs> I mean, they pair really well in doubles. Maybe that says something about it. But I've watched uh, Travis. Yeah, I watched Ricky yeah, do some work on, on uh, Yoshi's before. Yep. Um, when they're trying to recover, if you throw that side beat and you hit them out of their second jump, it's technically a command grab. So what are you gonna, you know, you can't. Oh yeah. You can't, you can't connect off of that. Well, that's true. So Maloney doing a great job this time, keeping, keeping Yoshi off stage. Of course, that, that battlefield ledge kind of scary right there. You can really reach pretty far with that. Yeah. Um, I mean, you saw me just up there. Oh, spike though. Yeah. I mean, it's still not even over for Yoshi. No, but this is still a similar, similar situation. You got Rage Yoshi. You got a character that dies relatively quick. Um, it really is only going to take one or two big bits. Oh, and there's the bouncing fish. We're going to steal the first In stock. that position, most Yoshi's kind of retreat a little bit and throw an egg to kind of cover their... You have the egg to cover your landing, cover your recovery. Um, Eggs is... are difficult to do. Honestly, I think Yoshi's one of the best camping characters in the game if you really want to use them that way. His aerial mobility, and if you're good with those eggs... It's getting down to the wave right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not looking good for John Cena. But no, he's really, got a, he's really got to pull out of stock. Um, he's got a very aggressive playstyle, though, so that's probably part what's hurting him right now. Um, yeah, it's hard to be aggressive against the Sheik, man. I mean, yeah, church. Well, yeah, I mean, you can be aggressive if you want to take him to church. I mean, that's a little different. <laughs> shout outs to shout outs to Gucci. Yeah, Gucci's actually streaming right now uh, for his, like, his, you know, sub subathon thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this might be. I a, wanted to watch it. But. 50, 50. Okay, I don't know if he has his count. 
This might be it. No, Yoshi's still making it back. I it's right, looking it's gonna be looking pretty tough at man. Alright, 50-50? Yeah. Okay. Not a whole lot of grabs from him. No. Yeah, and Yoshi's got a really good command grab. Great command grab. There's that grab and this is gonna be it. I know. Alright, this is a really uphill battle. Very uphill. Crazy Yoshi combo as he takes the stock. I'm not even sure. Man. Oh, what a risky maneuver. It's like, I'm just gonna drop the egg here. Maloney is feeling much more comfortable about the Yoshi matchup right now. Is Yoshi part dinosaur, part egg? Has he ever really been born? I don't know, man. Like, he comes, he keeps coming out of eggs. Like, yeah. And he throws eggs? Dude, what is he? I don't know. So Ooh. we got Yoshi at 182 right now. Yoshi with one of probably the best combo breakers. Yoshi just living. Oh, and there's okay. that there. All right, so now we're gonna have to see some crazy. I mean, this is Yoshi with rage. Yoshi can't get really hit here. Uh, this will be an insane comeback if uh, if Abner is able to pull this off. He's gonna play very safe. Yeah, you can see what he's saying. Uh, Yoshi now over almost to 200. Uh, this one. Ooh, damn. There it is. Fair? Was that what? Was that what hit him in the end? Just, yeah, he's red there, dodge. I mean, it, pretty much I mean, anything I was gonna hit. Was, pretty much anything was gonna be Yoshi at that point. It was a good set. Definitely. Yeah. Alright, all right, it's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. We'll have to commentate again sometime. We'll